Hello everyone, Kieran here from Scottish Lad Darts channel. Today's review, I'm going to be reviewing a set of, I want to say retro darts, rather old school, they have been out for quite some time, manufactured by One More, and I got these from my Premier Darts retro mystery box opening. So if you want to check that out, the link is in the video description and in the comments. So if you want to go and check out and see what I got from that mystery box, then please do so. The darts I'm going to be reviewing is the One More Vanquish. This is the Model 2 of the two models. 24 carat gold plated. Comes supplied with the black standard points. Two sets of aluminium stems and two sets of flights. And obviously retro feel, retro vibe. I'll show you the box. I don't normally show you the box on videos, but I'll show you for this because it is obviously old school. There's the box, nice and Thick, it gives you all the proper details like the picture of the case, the darts, the flights, etc. A wee bit of information on the sides and a wee bit on the back as well. So, let's quickly show you what you get in said box. You get your golden vanquished darts case, nice big aluminium box. Obviously, I've got the darts and stems out, but you get your stems, your flights, which I do have on there. The only pity is it has aluminium stems and there is no rubber o ring, so it does tend to. Just spin out the dart a little bit. But before I start going on a wee bit more, let's crack on with the review. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I have the one more golden vanquish right here in front of me. And as you can see, it's a 24 karat gold plated dart, 24 gram steel tip, 90% tungsten, comes supplied with the two sets of aluminium stems, which I showed you at the intro, black standard points, which stick in the board really, really well. And a grip at the front to kind of here that is a bit like luster. It's only a level two grip. I'll skate one to five there, but it's going to be consistent enough for you to hold. Rear grip section, you've got a bit of twin ring with the black throughout as well. That is the grippiest part of this dart, and I'd say that's a two and a half grip. All in all, grip levels between a two and a two and a half, and a skate one to five. And the camera's probably not going to pick up the gold plating very well. But as you can see, there is some cosmetic flaws. I did say it was a near perfect condition that I've got the one more logo there, and I did pr actually prefer that one more logo on the darts. The black point, the aluminium stem, which is laser etched with golden vanquish, and the one more flights. Now, the grip at the rear is probably the best part of the, about this dart in terms of the grip. If you're a rear gripper, ideal. Front to middle grippers, unfortunately, it is a bit to be desired now as i say this is a throwback review these darts are no longer made they are discontinued so they are quite hard to get now now let's get you the barrel dimensions so the barrel length from here where the point meets the barrel to here where the stem meets the barrel is 51 millimeters and at the widest point it is 6.5 millimeters so it's quite a chunky dart but again for the time it's not bad the Content 90% tungsten, ideal. Now let me know if you had a set of these back in the day. For me personally, I've never owned a set until I got them from my Premier Darts Retro Mystery Box. And I threw them a couple of times, put them away, got them out for the review, and I instantly fell in love with them because the retro feel, the grip at the back is absolutely fantastic. The colour is fantastic. I'm not a fan of the stems if they don't have the the O-ring. As you can see, there's no O-ring there that just spins freely, which is unfortunate. But at the end of the day, back then, it was just something to be desired. But I've gave you all the necessary information of the gold vanquish. Let's get them over to the board, and we'll see how I got on with them. I've got the one more golden vantage here, all set up with one of two supplied setups. Let's see how we got on with them. We've got one in the treble 20 to start us off. Now the grip at the rear on these is absolutely perfect for a rear gripper. It's got a decent level to it, a decent feel to it. And I'm getting the same place finger placement every single time. Now what I don't like about them is the fact that it's aluminium stems, but bear with the time these were released, aluminium was coming out with quite a lot of the darts that came out back then. Right, let's do a couple of checkouts. 
We'll start off with 65. Would you like a 65 check, check out here on Scottish Lad Darts channel? Just missed a double 10. We'll do one more. We'll do a 72. Just over pinched it for the tops. Let's switch down to the 19s. Solid 57. Now, as I say, these have obviously been out for a while. Front to middle grippers, the grip is pretty much non existent. Not a lot of grip there. But at the very rear of the dart, where the majority of the grip is, it feels absolutely fantastic. Because that is like the grippiest part of the dart. So, me as a rear gripper, it works well for. Let's switch down, uh, switch up to the 18s. Nearly a 162. I really enjoy throwing these. Let's go from a couple of checkouts. We'll go for a 96. Leaves a 76. So I went for it. Now we failed to the 76. Uh, the 96. Let's go with a 81. Which leaves 1, 2, 3, 6, 74. Can't do it. With the left is bull. Speaking of the bull, let's try and get free in there. And then we'll go get wrapped up. Didn't get any anywhere near the bull. Worth that. Let's go get wrapped up. And there we have it folks. That was my review of the one more golden vanquish model 2. The fact these are retro, 24 karat plated, and they feel absolutely brilliant for rear grippers. Front grippers, it's a level 2 grip at the front, I'd have to say. Rear grippers, you get a lot more bite on the grip sections. The aluminium stems do not have the rubber O-rings, as you could probably see with the thrown section. The dart was just spinning out. But the fact that you get a nice case with this, I mean, that is a gorgeous case. Granted, it is old school, but it looks absolutely stunning with the gold. In the silver accents with the black with the vanquish on top but i didn't manage to get a price point on them for when they released but if they were to release now i'd probably say about 40 45 quid mark for them but at the end of the day these are retro the throwback the review has might be a bit of fun for them hence why i've done it but thanks everybody for taking the time to watch the video stay safe out there and of course keep on down mm -hmm.